Uh, with, with Corey so so close to playing this past week, do you fully expect him to be out there against Illinois? Well, I think with Corey, uh, you know, he's he's ahead of what people thought, and uh, you know, he was excited to be back in uniform. I think that's part of it. You know, it's, he was the, like one of the first guys onto the field, and and uh, looking forward to him practicing this week and and really seeing how it goes for him. And uh, and and you know, there's a lot of steps that go into it, and uh, you know. Corey hadn't you know, he played a little bit in the Alabama game, hadn't played for a while. And so uh, looking forward to him him working. And uh, he'll know, we'll know, and, um, and it'll be good when we get him there. You know, and, and there's still no guarantees that uh, on the timetable or, you know, how it goes. We just got to keep taking day by day and, and help him through it. Jeff. Paul, is it is it mostly – a mental barrier for Corey, like any other guy who's coming back f- from an injury, to feel comfortable that he's ready to go in his own mind. I think there's some, f- you know, the physical parts of it too, because yeah, the Alabama game, and then tried to let it calm down, so that's relative inactivity, and then it's not calming down, so now we need to have the surgery, so it's getting the himself back in, you know so the physical components of getting yourself back into shape and and then there's back into football playing shape uh and I think there's a, a confidence that comes with probably both you know the 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 uh what was injured and comfortable and conf- therefore confident in your playing so I think there's probably both but I'd say there's as much physical as a mental I would think